because Fred and George were the oldest of the kids anyway. Um, so we kind of always grew up as the same age as the characters in the books and then in the film. So we were quite lucky in that regard. Uh, and then how it influenced me, not just being in the movie. Um, to, be, to be honest, I was very a shy kid. Uh, I would always be at the back or not really. I didn't want to be center of attention and doing things like this would scare the living hell out of me. Uh, but playing characters like Fred and George who are very outgoing, you kind of have to have to become at least acting uh, quite the outgoing character. And that kind of, I carried on doing that afterwards and uh, that's, that's how it, it changed me in that regard. Um, we were exposed to a totally different life than we ever thought we would do. And I think being the age of the characters, certainly when we started, that made it more authentic, I suppose, and easy for us to, to portray. <coughs> because we were, as James said, the older kids compared to like Harry and Ron are going to a new school and we'd already been at the school type thing. We'd been in senior school for a few years by then anyway. And you kind of get, you, you do get that into your mindset that this is how it, this is, how it is, you know, it's cool. Mm -hmm. it's really cool. Uh, no, to be honest, I still, like, we are still acting. Um, so that's just not so much together anymore. But um, we kind of see, we, we, we're very aware that there's, there's some people who can't see past the twin thing, which mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you can appreciate, you know, there's two individuals there. Um, but in other, in, other, in other ways, though, we see it as a, a positive that we have an extra string to the bow where if they're casting brothers or twins, then mm -hmm. da -da, <laughs> here you go. Um, but no, we're, st we're still able to work. And I think that Potter it itself has given us, it's opened, more do it's opened more doors than it's closed for us to, to get in to, to do things. So uh, yeah, we're, we're very lucky on that. Yeah, I mean, James and I designed the whole exhibition. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, uh, we basically, we, we started at the unveiling of it. So when they announced in Chicago that they were going to do this exhibition. And in my head, when they told us, I kind of thought, it would be like a travelling, you know, exhibition what goes to generic museums, not an engulf like where you're totally engulfed in the world of Harry Potter. Um, so when we did see it when it first opened and everything, it was just mind blowing. And now it's as there's as much stuff here as there ever has been, um, which is really really cool. But in terms of us being consulted as to what's what, not really. But I'd like to think that our our um, seeing it and just thinking, you know, saying what a great job it is, um, just, just reinforces what everyone else has done, you know, the good work that's gone on and the, the research what the guys of GS have put into it. Uh, I would use, uh, and I, it's, I've said this answer before, but it's because it's, I genuinely believe it, I would use a port key, so it's a thing where you touch something and you travel very quickly, because coming here, I had to go to Heathrow, I had to wait at my, out there for two hours, then fly for two hours, then wait for my luggage at the airport, then drive into So it's like a six hour journey. If I'd had a port key, I could be here like that. So uh, that would make traveling a, a hell of a lot easier. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so cool, yeah. Um, and mine would be, I'd use Stupefy, and I'd wait until the World Cup next year when England are playing, and just use it on the opposition team. Yeah. And I would take sole responsibility for England winning the World Cup. Oh, actually, no, that's a good one. I'd use that one when... And, and, and an invisibility cloak to get in the stadium to begin with. No, I'd use stupid... Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal that. But no, no, you know you can't do that. When Stupefy, I went to a concert recently and there was a person in front of me. You know those people who have to record every song at a concert and it's just, just put it away, just... <laughs> that'd be great just to... Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, well, well, we've, well, we've noticed, actually, that it seems to be still magic. Um, it's, we've, we've met children who weren't even probably thought of when the final film came out. But they, they know Harry Potter it is in their, their, their system, you know. They're, we've seen probably up to three generations who've grown up yeah. or watching the film. So I think the cool thing about Potter is it's timeless as well, because it is in the wizarding world. That there's no relatable, say, to a car or a you know, clothing. Yeah. The fashions are all very the same or different in the wizarding world to the, the novel world. So I'm not too sure, I mean, the next, the next big thing I don't know, if I knew that, I'd be, I'd be writing away right now. <laughs> yeah. But I think that, uh, you know, this, I think oh, almost five million people worldwide have seen the exhibition around, so it's still got that thing going, and uh, there's over 150,000 tickets already sold for the Madrid one already, so, uh, and I know there's going to be quite a few 
smaller guys, shall we say, coming to see that some kids. But uh, like Oliver was saying, it's still very much. I think it, it, it makes your imagination run away with you in the world of of what's going on. Best memories. There's um, there's there's a few. Like there's some funny ones as well. Like when we were doing a press day. Um, with the egg, actually, the yeah. golden egg behind you. We took that in front of the Eiffel Tower, so we've got a photo with that. Just <laughs> random stuff like that. Um, and then also stuff, you see the costumes from when we're filming certain days. And we were like, it, t it takes you back to when we were filming that, that scene, that particular scene, that particular mm. environment in which we were filming it, you know? Um, so yeah, there's, there, there's a lot. Each, each thing here reminds me of a, of a memory.